गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वी आर इन द्लास फिफ्थ एंड नाउ इट वॉज अ वंडरफुल लास्ट लेसन सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द सेम थिंग सो टूडे इज ईवीएस टू एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सेटल लाइफ एंड अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन नाउ माई सेल्फ Mr. Sanjay Yadav and our CNO, Mr. Radhiral Purungle sir. In short, the team, the technical team, is from School New Mahim Municipal English School. Expert teachers Sanjay Yadav, Administrative Officer Mrs. Sunaya Lata Dumre, Nodal Bit Officer Mr. Sharad Puradhe, Nodal Agent Mrs. Purpa Mary Paul. Assistant Nodal Agent Manpreet Anand, CNO Ratilal Sir. Subject EBS two, to life and urban civilizations. Before we start, I want you to repeat after me. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For the food we eat. For the food we eat. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For the world so sweet. For the world so sweet. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. The birds that sing. For the birds that sing. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For everything. For everything. Very good. You are wonderful. And now I will show you the five parts in which uh, we are going to. The lesson has been divided in the use of metals. Nine point one, nine point two. The pots made on the potter's wheel. Nine point three, trade and transport. Nine point four, rise of cities and script. Nine point five, social organization and ancient cities. Now, as you we have learned before in the primitive caveman history, it has been classified into three different parts. That is, the old stone age. the middle stone age and the new stone age now you can see what do you see in this picture anyone can say one sentence a mountain it is a mountain it's uh, there are small uh, dots in between where there are caves so where in uh, mumbai there are kaneri caves there are elephanta caves okay so Uh, these are all made by cave men and then we have got maharashtra has got so many different forts panalgarh deogarh our uh, jejuri which are the olden temples are also made of stones what is the special uh, quality which you can see at the gate all the design all the columns of the main gate over here it is made of which is it of metal is it of cement it does it is of bricks it is of bricks but bricks. they are stone bricks stone. stones yes big big pillars of stone and small small pillars which are a uh, turned round on the top and designs they are all carved in the stone now let's go to the next one we must be proud of our ancestors who in their stone age they used their skills and hammer chisel and tools which we say hatodi and chimney to carve out stony steps and forts were made in the single rocky mountains so we must be very careful when we are visiting there we should not uh, throw plastic bags or garbage okay and we should not dirty there so ancient cave man they were expert in climbing down and up from such uh they were skilled in making stone tools to cut steps on mountain paths 
now as you can see in this picture which different activities can see in this slide picture on the left side there is one deer who has been freshly hunted and the escape men are taking out the skin on the right side we can see back side background there are three huts and one lady who is uh, cleaning the skin of the killed animal then in the foreground right side one lady is stitching clothes then there is a group with the leader who is having which what thing is he having in his hand which he has kept on the ground and he is standing is it a sword is it a bhala is it a hammer no it is a bow and arrow dhanush then there are three people sitting down they are all from the post neanderthal age where man learned about making stone tools and implements now in this picture you can observe and tell a line about this picture this is this is a place a, yes this is a stone place this is a stone place what That's are the standing uh, you can see five standing columns they are called pillars so they are stone pillars you can see those are not plain stone pillars but they have been carved into a definite shape to make it look more beautiful isn't it so beautiful yes okay now here there is a fishing activity going on with a spear bhala so this an cave man they learned fishing also in order to survive and then he cooked those fish and hunted meat on fire so they learned fire also to so making fire here now they are using two this is a workshop they are making some uh, tool stone tools and here you can see in the cave one person is lying down so maybe he is sick so if there is a fire burning with the charcoal so man learned also the use of fire in treating the sick person now which types of people are seen in the group picture who can tell the answer homo sapiens yes homo sapiens we can see these Homo sapiens are from later Middle Stone Age family group. They are a family. They are keeping themselves warm by lighted fire because the weather is very cold. As you can see in the background, there are mountains which are covered with snow. Question two: Which type of clothes are these family wearing, and why? These families wearing furry jackets, shawls, and body clothing made of. ज dwellers that is living in temporary shelters and snowy mountains areas now here the primitive man he settled on the banks of the rivers because of the easy availability of water now you can see in the background there is a boat two men are in the boat where do you think they are what they are doing can anyone tell me they are going out on the river to take are they going, yes are they going to do some work yes yes sir which work to they are going to take water 
they are going to take water and in the water there are big big fishes also so they are going to catch fishes also and you can see in the fronts there are two ladies one lady is holding the basket so they are waiting for the the men to return with the catch of the fish and now here you can see the rendering of neanderthals two people are cooking and one man is eating so the ancient humans they were there in europe and west asia between 2 lakh 30000 to 29000 years ago it's a long long period now man learned to build huts in desert in seasonal tents we have seen in the last lecture and on the banks of the river there are different types now here you can see the modern neolithic man lived higher in the mountain slopes in order to keep their families protected from forest wildlife little bunds in agriculture he started agriculture based on house slopes gave this uh, it's known as jhum plantation on the house slopes then he had mountain goats cows yak buffaloes help to his family's food items needs like yogurt milk cheese and meat in snow bound regions seen in the himalayan mountains now we can now review in the on the skills that ancient times people had as below the skills are listed in point wise so first point is stone tools iron tools and implements help man to do cave carvings pillars etc you can take screenshot and you can write afterwards you can take screenshots okay can i need this yes second point you can read forests hunting and collecting medical plants knowledge grew yes and That third point man man used it fire man used fire to sharpen many copper bronze and gold items very good no thinking boat and carvings making net man did with carvings it is chariots chariots mean rath making help man trade and with other kingdoms now point 5 a new age of village craftsmanship that means what work they were doing they started with inventions like the potter wheels then glazing on the porcelain china cups plates and yes. utensils the point 6 is village head priest got respected as he knew to cure people of basic diseases when people got sick with medicinal plants like neem haldi tulsi kadi patta betel nut and seventh point is village head priest and the village chief ten or the sarpanch were to be followed by all people and the words were laws even the kings had to obey now you can what do you see in this neolithic new stone age picture in the center there is a store big storehouse on the left side you can see domestic animals like sheep there does some dogs one man is leading them and one person is returning with uh, hunting background there are farms where they are growing the crops of the food grains right side top right is the burials what is the spelling of burial burial b u r i a l s very good excellent agriculture spelling a p a g r a l t u r e storehouse spelling s t o r e h o u s e s e very good very good village spelling v i l l a g e e very good excellent now handicrafts spelling h a n d y c r a f t s okay h a n d y c r a this comes to the next end of the 9.1 now the 
starts in which we'll see that at that time there was a big wheel you can see like in bullock carts at the side there are big big wheels the right side picture you can see now the same type man got the idea and they said how wonderful if it will be if i can make a uh, round wheel on which i can make the pots so this along with the pots they had made the they were experts in making the houses made of mud bricks which were made of uh, burnt bricks so man learned this a skill also now actually gold was the first metal used in soft metal so it could not be used for making tools and implements humans then discovered another metal which could be used for these purposes this metal was copper that period copper came to be known is the copper age in this period people started making symmetrical and colorful pots with beautiful designs on them potters and other craftsmen began to live those close to each other in the village settlement so as to manage their work more easily we can now say that this became the industrial area of that village with skilled craftsmen had their settlements and centers of trade now in the below picture you can see the potters to make uh printed quartz petal is fixed pebble is fixed on the bottom of the potter's wheel now this pebble is known as the pivot when the potter's wheel is just part put in motion it is balances on this pivot there is a pointed part down below on that stone and it moves with great speed right side you can see the this Uh, children is this uh, diagram is in your textbook also so right side picture is a potter in the ancient egypt which is working on a rotating plank or the turn table now this is the evidence or the proof which shows there are three pots below which was given uh, and it is 7000 years ago in the regions where the copper was rare it was not possible to use copper in large quantities therefore people in such regions kept using mainly stone tools and implements even though people knew how to use copper now therefore such sites are called chalcolithic sites and not as copper age sites so chalcos means copper lithos means stone so the age of copper and stone is mainly known as chalcolithic age can you tell me the spelling of chalcolithic yes sir yes c h a l c o s c h C H A L C O T I C. I C. Very good. Excellent. Now, this is. Uh, you can see there after started the Bronze Age. The metals which were made were are alloys. So man knew how to melt zinc, and it dates back to um. almost 1000 years before the making of bronze now here what do you can see it is a village in the front there is the workshop in which they are melting metals and they are putting into different tools shapes and uh, the like swords spears and on the left side they are putting melted metal like copper and uh, bronze and iron into different shapes as per the needs now man expanded his knowledge as he was going in the forest so he was a forest dweller so he had knowledge and skills improving continuously in time he was observing all different plants trees roots flowers berries so what do you see on the left side circle there is a berry 
which may be poisonous. Then this middle pink, uh, you can see a honeybee. So this man learned that these flowers can be eaten also. So there are some berries also, the red berries, which can be eaten. And then the right side, the barks of the trees, which are, could be used as medicine. Okay, now this, uh, when uh, people excavated the site in Arikamedu in Tamil Nadu, you can see this picture. Can anyone describe this picture? A statue, a statue of a girl with a gun. With the gun. Second century CE found at. Very nice, very nice. Arikamedu. Who can tell the spelling? A R I K A M E D U. Excellent, excellent. Now I'll continue with the information. You can do a Google search afterwards. Arikamedu is an archaeological site, archaeological site where we discover all the olden uh, civilization period items by excavating, digging. In the South India, in Kakayan Tope and Aryan Kuppam commune in Puducherry, which is the new name, the old name is Pondicherry. It is four kilometers from the capital of Pondicherry. Now, 9.3, that ends 9.2, now 9.3. We'll see the trade and transport. The trade in mud pots grew with post-Neolithic period in the regions of Asia, Africa, South America, Sumer, Mesopotamia, and Egypt. Now, traders used to keep articles in your left side. You can see big earthen pots. So these mud pots were used to store agricultural products in big uh, barn yeah, houses. Sell them. Yes, storehouses. Very good. In the center of the village. So it was like a Monte market or a big bazaar for them. Now here you can see painted uh, porcelain, the plate, which is of China, earthenware, dated 10th century in Iran. And next... There you can see an expert master craftsman teaching the skill of making a big mud pot along with uh, his assistant. So the assistant is watching. Now, the pit fire earthenware dates back to as early as 29,000 to 25,000 BC and for that period of time, that is very, very long, 29,000 years. So stoneware gradually developed into earthenware pottery. And then outside East Asia, porcelain was manufactured from the 18th century AD. And then initially it was very rich people. So it was expensive luxury. Now we can see in 9.3, the trade and transport. So these uh, pots were made. So in our Indian culture, neem, tulsi, haldi, cloves, lavang, arekanat, babul, peepal tree, banyan tree are uh, worshipped and planted in many Indian farms and agricultural land to help the soil grow and make more fertile. Such plants, herbs and trees have helped man to do cooking, food and, and food chains in condiments of masalas also. Now, you can see in the different stone tools on the left side, there's a grinding stone which with a heavy stone, which is used to beat all this masalas. So uh, man learned to grind in the cooking. And now right side, there is a wooden uh, big spoon, which is called pestle. So there's a metal mud pot. And then in the front, there are uh, lamps and decorative, uh, some coins are there. So they are of metals. Now we can see in the next slides that fossils study done by modern fossilologists like Christian Thompson. K. 
Can you tell the spelling of Christian Thompson? C H R I S T I N C H O M S E C H O M E S E N Thompson. Okay. Now these scientists of the human archaeological studies, based on their excavations carried out in Mohenjo-daro, Harappa, Dholavira, these are different places, Kalibangan, Odisha, and Lothar, greatly studies the skulls of humans. Me, Then, sir. Now we can uh, see in the Indian museums have got the richest collection of tools and artifacts in the. Statues in the form of clothes, paintings. We can see. We can visit Rajesh Shivaji Museum in Mumbai also. Now here we can see uh, in those museums these are ancient skulls in which down part you can see the Homo habilis and the right side there is a Homo sapiens that is a, a near about our ancestor or the present day. Now this is. This gentleman is the fossilologist expert. His name is Christian Thompson. The spelling which you told, he put out the theory in three different parts. So, his is the uh, three method theory. Or uh, the first theory, he classified the stone tools of the Stone Age, and he called it the. These are the stone tools of the Stone Age. Then, second, he classified the copper tools and other copper articles in the, and he told it is the Copper Age. Then, third is the iron tools and Iron Age. Now, you can see the Neo Stone Age Homo sapiens, and they learned to make tools. And in the Buddhist cave temples, the flint stones were used for fire, lighting, smelting. And now here, you can see a Rosetta stone, which was found out by. Uh, there is an ancient writing in this tablet. On the right side, there are three parts: number one, number two, number three. The top is a very Pictured like hieroglyphics, and the middle part a little more uh, detail, and the last part is very minute. So these inscriptions were uh, in the king Ptolemy the fifth in the France. So later, a French teacher called. Jean Francois Champollion was able to read all this fantastic uh, writing and reading. Okay, now we can see in this copper tools are there, and then uh, name the method used by Christian Thompson to classify the prehistoric artifacts or the things and the antique objects. Now, Christian Thompson introduced three age system method, to, which we have seen. Prehistoric artifacts were classified. Which question two? Which belief emerged due to Thompson's findings? Now, Thompson's findings led us to believe that copper was the first metal to be used widely in Asia, Asia and especially in India. Question three: Why was man unable to use gold for making the tools and implements? Who can give the answer? So, so can I? Yes. So answer. Yes. Christian Thompson introduced the three system method to classify the prehistoric artifacts and uh, antique objects. I am asking question three. Man, so can I tell? Yes. Man was unable to use gold for making tools and implements because gold is very soft, valuable metal. Very good. And question four: Which is the most important invention of the Copper Age? The most the important, important invention of the Copper Age is wheel. Wheel is the wheel. Excellent. Wheel. Now, from this picture, which two metals can you see? Copper and gold. gold and copper. Yes, the copper is brownish, bright color, and the gold is a bright yellow color. Yellow so, color. the scientific name is written below. For gold, it is 
A U R U M aurum and copper is known in science as cuprum okay that yes. is an extra information now a uh, man started carving axes cutting hammers forks were used by blacksmiths gold jewelry makers in the village settlements you can see in the picture down daggers knives okay and different you on the left side there are some hammers and surgery tools also so the next part you can see the questions and we'll uh, try to answer fill in the banks dash introduce the method for classifying prehistoric artifacts christian thompson very good now copper age was to many inventions and discoveries then it's generally agreed the wheel was firstly used by the potters then they were skill craftsmen had their guilds settlements and centers production in the industrial areas of the village point number 5 the village settlements and the industrial areas expanded rapidly you can take the screenshot question 6 actually gold was the first metal to be used by the humans in the jewelry and was traded coins or ashar fees horn is a type of golden coin in rajesh shivaji period man discovered copper metal for making dash and dash tools and implements very tools good implements. now number 8 as the scale of the production increased trade to expanded with it nine yeah. is the signs and symbols are already come into use for the purpose record keeping very excellent 10 is the broken pieces of the clay pots with the signs have been found in large numbers during excavation excavation excellent okay. now let us see the next part now question 5 be in in which the villages the industrial areas emerged in these villages settlements were uh, having raw materials were readily made available those which were conveniently situated were located close to the trade routes now we are going to the down part 6b how did potter's wheel originated in ancient sumer and egypt who can give me the answer the potters and the village the potters and village craftsmen sleep each other to each other in the village settlement to manage their to manage their guys products and work service easily products and work service easily okay now we can see in this picture the ancient True. egyptian king using the gold mask and many post vedic kings in india also were very good ornaments now we can see that cities grew and script now once the homo sapiens learned the house boards and they were become experts in kerala backward waters also trade centers uh, throughout india established in the villages rivers and lake become an important uh, transport place which connected with the arabian sea and ancient kingdoms kept growing then we can see a tent settlement over here in the desert where a joint family lives then gold was a soft valuable metal and was found first in bulgaria hence the first cities of trade and religion cultures grew in the world now write the conse consequences children consequences means what happens when so what happened as a result of discovery of copper copper was used for making tools and implements by humans the discovery of wheel wheel was the first was used first used by the potter and later for running bullock carts and chariots chariot excellent now what happened with the use of script you saw on the rosetta stone 
ट्रेड फॉर ब्रेकअप की यूज फॉर रिकॉर्ड कीपिंग द इंक्रीज इन ट्रेड एंड प्रोडक्शन रिजल्टेड इन मच मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ साइंस एंड सिंबल्स व्हिच लेड टू डिफरेंट डिस्टिंक्टिव स्क्रिप्ट्स अमंग डिफरेंट कल्चर ओके एक्सेलेंट नाउ यू कैन सी ओवर हियर एज अ पजल यू कैन टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट एंड द डिफरेंट एजेस आर पुट इन द पजल we go to the next one name the method used by christian thomson to classify prehistoric artifacts and antique objects christian thomson used the three s system to classify prehistoric artifacts and antique Hola. objects and antique objects now we go to point number 2 which belief emerged due to thomson's findings thomson found the belief that copper was the first metal to come into use very good thomson's findings led to the belief that the copper was the first metal to come into use now point number 3 why was man unable to use gold for making tools and implements man was unable to use gold for making tools and implements because gold is soft metal very so. good excellent excellent sir now we'll go to the fourth point which is in the down which is the most important invention of the copper age The most important invention of the copper age in the world. Excellent. Now we can see the next one. In this, we'll go to point number seven. Which are the factors that brought people together, engaged in the different types of work? Long distance trade, rapid transportation of wood and cinders of. Large scale production are the factors that brought people together and engaged in the different types of work. Different types of work. So, as people were engaged together with trade, the villages grew in population. People from other countries they came via the rivers and the trade in the mountains also grew. And we can see in the next picture there is which belief. emerge to the thomson's findings we have seen this we will not discuss much you can take a screenshot and we we can go with the next slide so which factor contributed to the emergence and development of cities the rise in cities excellent where was the culture of the cities rooted The, the culture, culture of the city was rooted in the culture of the village settlement of the new stone age. Stone age. Excellent. Now we go to the open-ended question. Like this question is an extra. So now, this write the uses of wheels in the modern times. In the modern times, wheels are used in the large scale for transportation. In the modern times. wheels so by transportation we have now we have got two wheeler we have got four wheeler we have got vehicles as well as multi axle big big trucks are there which are we called trailers point number 3 wheels are used in many industries nowadays wheels are used point number 4 wheels are used in floor mills aate ki chakki question now point number 5 Wheels are also, also used. Also used in children toys. Yes. Children toys. Despite the life of the modern man, the world around the world. Point number six. Point number six is the life of the modern man revolves around the wheels. Now we can see in this map. This is a web a web diagram in which you can see that salt. If we take one important item, that salt. How? Salt was an uh, essential commodity. Essential commodity means very important in the villages. So every food item without salt is tasteless. Now salt is obtained uh, was taken from traders which were coming from Iran, Afghanistan, Kanda, Kandahar, Kabul, all the Egypt and Mesopotamia and Sumer. They were coming to India, and this milk grew. so they were exchange with other commodities for mud pots and everything now next for summary for today now we have discussed the use of 
metals. 9.2, we have seen the parts made by the potter's wheel. 9.3, we have studied the trade and transport. 9.4, we have studied the rise of cities and script. 9.5, we have studied the social organization in the ancient cities. Social organization means that there were uh, village chiefs, there were guilds, different workers, and everything. Now let's go to the evaluation part. If you are studied and you are paying attention, you will be able to give me the answer. Point number one, dash was excavated or found in the ancient Egyptian inscription in 1799 AD. Stone. Stone. Rosetta Stone, very good. Point two, in, it is seen that in the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics that the later on simplified as dash script and then modern dash script. So there are two dashes that you have to see. Script and script. Script and script. Excellent, excellent. Demotic and Greek script. These are two examples of different script. Like we have got the Sanskrit script, the Pali script, Pali Bhasha, and Marathi script, Hindi script also. Now, point three, it announced the extension of King Protelmi V to the throne. Now, point four is the entirely inscriptions were first read by Jean Francois Champollion, a French teacher. Now, for point number five, if Rosetta Stone is an important source of history in Dash Egypt. Ancient. Ancient. Point number six. Today, Rosetta Stone is in the Dash Dash in London. British Museum. 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 Excellent, children. Now, go to the point number seven. Dash was used about 7,000 years ago. Copper. Copper. Very good. Dash age implies that during this period, during which copper as well as other implements were in use. So this age is known by one name. What is that name? Charcoal age. Yes. Number nine. Dash is the mixture of copper and on tin, the new stone age is also known as the bronze age. So, result of this mixture? Yes. Bronze. Bronze. Yes. Excellent. Now, let's see the question number 10. What is in the web diagram which we saw before? We can. Can anyone read point number one? Yes, yes. sir. So, I the main ingredient of Indian, of India, we made home cooking names. Okay. Salt was the main ingredient. That was the main uh, item for the Indian villages in the home cooking needs. So point number two, it says that as trade grew in the Europe and Asia became consumers of salt. So salt grew in importance in point number three, just like the cotton trade and the whole essential commodities in trading. Point number four, there was a demand which was growing and the traders were trading salt more and more. Salt and sugar, they were main items of trade and were along with that, there were also cotton textiles and the mud pots, porcelain pots and obtained by traders from faraway places. Now, point number five, salt got exchanged by traders in Indian village markets with other types of essential commodities. Point number six, the seafaring ships used the big, big ships which were coming with uh, goods from uh, Europe, Asia, Egypt. Uh, they were coming to India for commercial trade, trade and commerce, and other countries, they were loaded they were loading salt bags from India. And as a result, there was an expansion of trade. So in the history chapter also, we can see the uh, Mahatma Gandhi had uh, broken the salt act by making uh, Dandi March. And at Dandi is a place in Gujarat. So this is a general knowledge. Now we come to the homework part, which you can take a screenshot. Now, who gave? There are the three methods of classification. Then question number two. Yes. Question number two. Which animal was first uh, domesticated in the Middle Stone Age? Dog. 
Full full sentence answer. Who was the first animal to be domesticated in the Middle Stone Age? In the Middle. Excellent. Excellent. Now write about the pottery in the Copper Age. Who can the give me that? The pottery was the first during the Middle Stone Age. Why? 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 Why?